You, you good? Oh, we on now. We on now. We, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. We, we good. We good. Okay. Yeah. We, we, welcome to the cockpit, man. Welcome to the cockpit. Yes, we yes, yes. Now. Welcome to the cockpit, man. Yes. Yes. So in, in, introduce yourself to the people, man. Tell them who you is, man. Uh, Ron Eyes. That's the songwriter name, but Ron is the, the, the government name. Um, I write songs. I design clothes and shoes. And I'm in the development of perhaps to create my own um, video game software. I'm in the process of that right now. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. As we so you know, as as being as being a, a, a Bay Area rapper, you know, what's what what was your influences, and you know, what what made you even want to rap? Uh what made me want to rap is I seen my I grew up watching my brother, my uh, second oldest brother, um, uh, sibling of what eight. And my second oldest brother, I seen the reaction of something he said, and I seen how people responded to it, and I was like, "Yeah, I need that attention." <laughs> I said, "I need that attention." I like the reaction. You know, you, I mean, you're rapping, and then the result says everybody on you. Like, oh yeah, I, I need, I need that. It doesn't, that doesn't take much if you if you got the aura. So, um, I remember him rapping. I used to listen to his verse. Like he had a verse that he spit all the time and I just remembered it by heart and I went to school one day. I was in middle school one day and I spit that verse and I got a nice reaction. And then I just kept doing it until somebody was like, Yeah, we heard this one already. You gotta come new. Come new. <laughs> <laughs> come new. So I went home and I asked my brother, like, what is what is bars? Like what is that? I kept hearing like what spit your bars. I was like, what is bars? And he was basically breaking that down to me. And then he was like, it's every four seconds of a of of a of a cadence of a sentence. And it just depends on the rhythm. And once I learned that, I learned how to uh, write. Uh, I was free. I was uh, battle rapping. I was in assemblies. I was doing assemblies at the schools. No cussing. Um, I was getting paid to do people's voicemails. I was charging like twenty five bucks to do people's voicemails. I remember. Um, I remember that shit. I remember that. Yeah. Um, I was because uh, my, my mother's side. They they from Frisco. My father's side. I was actually born in Oakland. I spent maybe what. Like my uh, middle school and half of my high school in Frisco, so I had to see. I think best of both worlds. Um, I grew up around like um, I mean, you got to think it was like the eleven fives back then. It was like the the silly sales. You had the Sebos, you had the Loonies, you had the three times crazies. I got all the local, so I was like, oh, that's dope. But for some reason, as far as inspiration. I went to that East Coast and was listening to Jay and seeing how they was like lyrically going. Like you got the beats out here and you got the real ones spitting, but how it's crafted in ninety four five. I was like, man, I need to step my lyrical game up. Like these dudes is on some other. And you got Nas, you got Jay, you got yeah. we had we had Tupac, but Tupac. I mean, that was more of an emotional thing, and it was more of okay, we can relate to that. But I was like, yes, everybody mm -hmm. can do that in the West, but I wanted to do something different, think outside the box. So I started learning how to really be on some lyrical, and then I was getting paid to do people's voicemails. They was coming with that intelligent thug shit. Yeah, and I started. You got to think. I mean, you seen back in those days, I was the go-to. Like I was going to other high schools to battle dudes, man. I was battling dudes that was that like factors. I was able to go to other neighborhoods that most people wasn't even allowed to go to, and I would just walk. Like nothing's going on. Like there's no war zone. <laughs> and go and start battling. That's that's how serious rap was. Yeah, it was it was really a story. It was really like a hip hop story. You don't get too many of those like out in the West Coast. It's always like, oh, I got high. My friends introduced me to the studio. We clicked up and we did some songs. And but now nah, I really was like battle rapper. Like they would be like, I got somebody for you. Ryan, get him. They'll do it like I was a pit bull. Do it like Ryan, get him. And I was. Won... It's crazy as you were saying earlier a little bit. You was like, "Man, you battled nigga Jarvis." Like, I man, battled. Bro, I, I battled. Rest in peace. And in, in, in my hood, nigga, that's a classic battle, nigga. That's classic. Like, like you, like you can't can't nobody ever say they battled that nigga though. Is what I'm trying to tell you. I like, battled at Macintyre. Really at Macintyre, you really know you rapping like that unless you was no. in the circle, unless, no, or unless you was the game thing. Unless you yeah, went to James, you didn't even know he was rapping like that. Just know he was That's hooping and other shit. They know he was hooping and other things that we can't say too much about. But he he was a hooper. Like he he was he was the AI before AI to me. For, hey, <laughs> for real. 
He was the AI. For if it, like they need to. I, I, I want to work on a documentary and and really put him on something like down the road. Not to say too much, but I want to. It's some names out there that I want to put in like a documentary for the positive to where where if this person was on this, then you would only imagine what this person would have been. If y'all got a chance to understand like the talent of the person, don't judge them for the stuff that we all commit as humans, but like the talent that will really just take you from there. And he had that. And he was very popular. And I've always, I, from the time that I knew him, um, we battle rap, and he just, he gave me my respect, dude. He was like, yeah, you the, you the what? Actually, I'm about to do a shirt. And the heat, remember the heat holders? He was the heat holder. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember all that. We used to talk about all that stuff, man. I used to actually get him out of the shell and have personal conversations, man. Because everybody have conversations about what goes on in the streets and all that. But I've always enjoyed having conversations about people's family and other things that they yeah. is just just so you won't be that you know, I just don't want to be that regular dude that, you know, I wanna actually have human conversations with people, man. I don't care where you what walk of life you from, as long as, you know, I mean I ain't just walking to anybody's but the ones I know, you know, and I knew him. Personally, him, Starville. I got a little Ron rapping Ron from Starville, man. Damn, bro. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Starville and Big that's, Body. And Body. That's who stabbed you. That's who stabbed you rapping Ron. Starville and Wesley. They stamped me. Fat, big Body. Mm. They stamped me. I was rapping Ron in middle school. That's so, crazy, dude. So it's like, it's a lot that's of stuff crazy. that, yeah, man. I used to cut school and battle with them, and, and they used to hear me rap. They, they, this is when you when Bam, when smoking Bama was cool. <laughs> I am Bama with headaches and just freestyle all day. You know how you can't shut me up when I'm high. I can freestyle all day. I will freestyle your ears off. <laughs> that's what that's I was that's I was crazy. one of those ones where you it was like real hip hop, bro, but like in the hood. And it was in and, and you gotta think, this is in a times where it was really funk, but I didn't think of none of that stuff. I really that, wanted that, to be the greatest we, we rapper. Kids. kids. We was kids, bro. We, we was just See, living life. We didn't care. We didn't, we, if you wasn't in that shit, you didn't care about that shit. Nah. Because it was another day. Yeah, man. Life, that's, life is life. You can't stay in the house. Go to church. <laughs> man. We right, let's, let's get, Go ahead. So let, let, let's, get, let's get into the next question. So the next question is like with, with the whole young Dolph situation and all that, like when is it time to leave the hood? Like when when it when is it time to go? Like I'm talking about like not to come back and not to come back at all no more. You you'll know if you're mature enough. You'll know if you're mature enough. When you when you when you start letting the the, the, the you know when they say it's fatherhood time, like the music and like LeBron James when he'll realize it's fatherhood time, when it's time for him to hang it up, that's when it's time for him not to think about basketball no more. But he might do basketball related stuff. To keep the income mm. going and keep his legacy, it'll be it, he'll pass that baton to his his kids, his sons, and some people love the hood too much. They just don't. I mean, they just program to not leave it. It's a lot of dudes that make a lot of money and never left California. So most of that money won't even be spent by the time they're dead. But don't, but don't that label you as not real? with you just not coming mm. back? No matter how rich you is, no, no. You keep you keep in touch with the people that's still out there. I mean, they got they got shit like this right here. I don't have to be mm -hmm. right in front of your house to be talking to you right now. And I've been knowing you for how long? We ain't got to be, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't, and outside ain't outside like it used to be anyway. Who's really just outside like that? <laughs> so, so, the t so the term outside <laughs> is, is really false. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who's really <laughs> outside <laughs> like that? Who's really outside? I'm trying to you on the phone in the house. People that make money off of streaming and, and people be on their lives all the time. They get their haircut, record themselves getting a their haircut. Ain't nobody just outside selling dope and recording themselves selling dope. And who's selling dope like that? You got people doing selling other things now, right? It's different. It's different times. You look silly if you spend most of your time outside now. Hey, that's, got, man. It's please, a different type of scam. Please, the scams please, was please, different please, than please, the 90s, man. Get to the youth. The scam, the, game to the, youth, the scam was different. The scam is different. You can have a girlfriend and they'll never have to leave outside and make way more money than you ever did than they did in the 90s. If a man from the 90s try to tell a youngster right now how to make money, he's a, he's a fool because these youngsters are making way more money. You can't tell them nothing. For real. For real. You can't tell them nothing. You can't tell them it's different. There's no more OG. It, 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 the, the, the experience don't matter no more. I got money, so you ain't, I ain't got to listen to nobody. 
And if money's the motive for majority of everybody, where did you get advice from? The money. <laughs> 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 it's just, it's just real. I Me, mean, I still listen to people, you know, um, to a certain extent, because I realize like the people I was inspired by now have to be like them. So I'm not just listening to a bunch of Jay Z songs no more like that. I'm not, and there's no disrespect to none of them, but it's like. Now I'm the creator, so it's about me. So when you see me promote Funk Betty, which is my clothing line, in the background of my videos on my Instagram, you're hearing my songs. You're hearing stuff that I wrote. And then the songs that I may have wrote for other people, I can only play like 60 seconds. I can't play a full song because of the contracts I have with certain people, certain companies. Like right now, I just wrote for, I wrote an eight, uh, 13 track for a UK band, you know? Mm-hmm. And then, of yeah. course, this video, the, I just had a meeting about a video game development this morning that's going to be out of this world that's related to music. So, and I got another meeting with that same company tomorrow. And then most likely I'll be flying out to Pittsburgh to get that done. So I'm on some different stuff. I just always want to be different. I liked it East coast music more than West, not more than West coast, but I was, that inspired me to write and become who I am because it just intrigued me more. I love the production out here. Dre Snoop, that was all dope to me. And I don't put that in second place, but what made me really look at a possibility of me being like that was, to learn how to take these beats from out here, give a little bit of what they got out there, but still let people know where I'm from out here, you know, without just sound like a straight East Coast dude, you know. So I and I got a lot of friends in the East Coast, you know. Louis Bay, one of them, Brooklyn guy. So it, it's it's um I'm learning a lot of things right now. I'm learning the virtual reality gaming system. Um, I got a uh, like I said, I had a meeting at ten o'clock earlier today about that. I got a I got a contract drew up actually. Uh, that I actually signed earlier this morning. Um, and then I'll have a pre-development team meeting on uh, uh, tomorrow, I believe, 12 p.m. But it's beyond that. I've always thought outside the box. I listen to everything from doo music, Motown, rap, opera. I clean up to opera music. I listen to Frank so Sinatra. It's, it's, everything. It, 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 it just, just sounds like you, you're doing so much. Like, how, how you, is you moving with a team? You moving without a team? It just... It sounds like you the quarter. It sounds like you the quarterback and the receiver, and you throwing the ball to yourself. Everything, yeah, except for the game. And the game, and I actually got a guy I went to school with. I went to Laney College in Oakland. Here. He's actually a the game. Like he knows how to, not to say it like that, but hack stuff. And he knows how to do the bots and make you have views that you ain't supposed to have. And I do all that. So I, I, I partnered up with him. Then the, this is the problem. I actually partnered up with somebody as far as business part. You know, I did a little rap. I did the label thing. That didn't. The, the, I was always told, Ron, you got to do that stuff on your own. You can't part. You can't be a group. You can't be a third wheel, and you're the main creator. You can write hooks. You can write songs. You can write different type of genres. There's no way you can sit in the group and think that's gonna work. So I learned as I got older, like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get this show on the road, man. So now it's just different. Now I, 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 I know how to do placement songs. I'm selling music to people that might have that song on a trailer of a movie on a video game. I know Grand Theft Auto 6 will, will be coming out in a few years. 2K, Madden all next year. So I'm writing for some people that might have some songs on there, you know, on they, on, on, on that platform. I'm just all over the place. But being from where I'm from, the Bay Area, Oakland, West Oakland, Ghost Town, where it's, it, it's you know, where, you know, you got all these ups and downs, but I never let that get in the way. You know, Definitely. You, 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 you're to, a motivator and you're an innovator. Yeah, I want to do things for us. I want to do things for Oakland. I want to do things for Frisco, Vallejo. I want to do. I want everybody that, that thought that all you can do is just rap out here. I want them to be like, no, you can do more than that. And if you do rap, get that shit on a video game. Get that on a movie trailer. Get that where you really get paid because that streaming is cool. But if you don't know the paperwork, you ain't getting much. You got to go out there and perform. And these days, the COVID... You're not going to be able to do that much performing these days. That's why they got virtual headsets now, man. And I'm trying to beat them before they get to me. I, I hear you. I hear you. Don't lose out on nothing. And then I don't forget the clothing line. The clothing line will be passed down to my kids, you know. And and the, the game, and that's going to be so lucrative, man. I'm talking about <laughs> give me two years and you're going to see, you're going to look at, you might, you're going to see me in fourth, man. <laughs> the way it's looking, I can't hey, even say. Hey, hey, I can't even say. Hey, 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 I, ho- I hope we there together, champ, for sure. No, 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 man. You're going to have some yacht meetings, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is, but this, I yeah, promise yeah. you, I promise you, we going to, this, this, it ain't going to end with just this. Like, I'm just putting myself in position to where I can 
where now I'm starting to see it to where it doesn't it doesn't become a budget anymore. I'm just I'm just making phone calls. Okay, okay. I don't want I don't want I don't want I don't want cash money no more. I want I want digital. I want everything digital. I don't I haven't seen a dollar bill in a while. <laughs> so, so when, okay. So, okay, so we so we <laughs> All right, look, so so where is your where is your mind? Where is your mind at? You know, when you just rapping because you got love for the game since like from all the way back in the day. So, how do you feel when you see like this gangster shit being portrayed and turned into this fake ass shit? Because that's what we was raised on. So, how do you keep your love and your motivation like for the game? And you see these these weirdos like trying to portray some gangster shit or trying to act like they real like. Yeah, that, 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 that's been that's been that's been going on. It's just popular now because all, all the the all the ones that was invisible when we was around, social media made them visible. But they're still invisible at the end of the day. They're not getting what you think they're getting. Like at the end of the day, Jay Z tickets are still more expensive than like a little Dirk, and that's not even a that's not even knock Dirk. But I'm just saying there's a big yeah. difference. You still get the reality when you look at a uh, a uh, 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 a scissor and then a Madonna or a Janet. Their tickets is still different. You're still going to get that reality if you really don't dwell too much on what irritates you. I used to get irritated off the rap, the scene. But then I realized, like, when you have these festivals and you see the headline, who's getting the most at the end of the day? It's the ones that we still listen to. It's the ones that still, like, the lone jet. Why do you think Jay's been around for so long? Whether you like Eminem or not, why do you think he's around? It's been a lot of white boys rap that can rap. But there's a there's business deals. There's other things they got themselves into. Look at Kanye with the fashion. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. the man making more money off his shoes than his music. He's actually lost money with music because he spent money on his props on stage and stuff. You know, but it's mm. made him a genius and it made him open up the door. I mean, he turned down Nike because he wasn't going to get royalties off of it. It was just going to be advancement. And then they get the rest. He owns 100 percent of his Yeezys. And so, the, so, the talent, so, the talent, so the talent is gonna out trump the bullshit. Yeah, I mean it's like a dude, it's an infomercial. I think gimmicks is just an infomercial. It's gonna be there. Yeah. It'd be there, but it'd be at the time where eventually you're gonna fall asleep on it. It's interesting for the first one minute, two minutes, then you like, yeah, it's time for me to go to bed. But, but ain't, 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 ain't that the ain't that the game though? To hit the lotto and get out. That's the game, yeah. right? Does the hit yeah, but, hit the lotto? But, 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 these, but who's really hitting the lotto? Who's smart enough about the numbers? These dudes is illiterate. Just because you see, yeah. just because you see two twenty million views on Instagram, I mean on, on YouTube, don't mean those guys are getting that money. A lot of those guys, all that beef they're not even allowed to perform in a lot of those places. So where's the money really coming from? You can get, look, you can make your scam money and still come out as a rapper and think and get people to think that that scam money was your rap money. Mm. Come on, man! It's, it's, so, it's, all, it's all in what you can make a motherfucker believe. It, 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 it's all a gimmick, man. It's a, Ripley's believe it or not. Which one you want to believe? That's all. It's, 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 which one? Whoever, <laughs> if, if you stick around to see Wax, you gonna start believing it's a real character. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. When you when you it's just really glance sick. at it, you gonna realize it's just entertainment. All this is just entertainment. Some people risk their life for it, but that that's what you signed up for. I'm what I'm doing. I'm not risking my life. My mine's. Like people know where I'm from, but it's not a territorial turf thing. This is a business thing to where I want to be like how Steven Spielberg can walk around here and be on a bike and you can recognize him, but you're not gonna need a bodyguard. The man is just mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm that guy. I don't have no lucrative car. I and I make I'm not even gonna say, but I'm just saying, you'll be surprised, dude. Like it, don't believe what you see. It's a lot of people that look like they got money. And it ain't even their money. It's their girl's money. It's a lot of people that don't look like they don't got nothing. They're average. They're the wealthiest people. People be on BART every day and be millionaires going to the city, dude. So I don't ever judge nobody by what they got. I never judge nobody what they got or what they wear, man, because you'd be surprised. I mean, Kanye West don't even wear his own shoes, man. <laughs> this man is wearing some rain boots right now. And he's a billionaire. <laughs> nigga, there's some swamp boots. <laughs> but them ain't even Yeezys. You get what I'm saying? And I he's know, exactly. I know. You know, so, how, so it's how, like, why, why would you, why would you give whoever them boots his promotion, and you ain't, you, you, that ain't even your shit. That somebody gave him a bag to wear them big ass. Yeah, boots. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or he's close friends <laughs> with the top P 
people that created those. He's have dinner with those people. So they, they do fair exchange. You know, it's that's a whole different level, dude. That's like, that's why I, don't have, I can't have those conversations with somebody I'm just on the streets with. You can't, you'll, be, you'll be talking to yourself. That's why you got to learn how to separate your, 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 your mental conversations with people depending on who they are and where they at in life. So if I'm with somebody that just knows about what I did in 95, what the hell am I talking about in 2022 with this person? I'm only going to have a five minutes conversation about that, and then I'm going to move on and tell you have a nice day. Because <laughs> what can I get in '95 now? <laughs> so give us, give us, give us, give us, give us a little spill on what you think about you know the way the the, the female rap game is changing and what it's turning into. Because I watched the concert the other day, and the, the the highlight wasn't the lyrics, bro, or the songs. It was her twerking in the middle of the, in the middle of in the middle of her verse. She just busts down and start twerking, and the crowd goes super crazy. So I'm just like, I know sex always sell, but how many more people is going to come through the door just shaking their booty and saying a few little rhymes? Is it going to get, is it gonna get I, worse? I, 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 I hate to say this, but when you did have females that rapped, they wasn't getting money like that. When you had the MC Lights and the Queen Latifahs, they wasn't getting no cheese. When they was actually saying mm. some stuff, they wasn't getting paid for it. Now, if you have a person that looks like Nikki and she can rap and you can balance that, you, it's, the only person I can say that's even that has that was Lauren Hill, but that was a one album woman, you know, even though every song on there is his, mm -hmm. but and she was just dope at how she orchestrated that. But everybody ain't got that, bro. Everybody ain't kings and queens, man. We try to sit there and call everybody. Some people just ain't appointed that way, man. Some things you're only good at to a certain extent. Some people got like a what you call that when you flip the thing over and the sand runs out. Some people got a time on that. Where it's like you can only do this for so long, and you better do it until the wheels fall off. And you got people for like really? the city. You got people. I don't want to say names, but like the city girls and certain other ones. It's like you know they won't be around another three years. So milk it while you can. I can't even knock that because they, I mean it's no different than a lot of these guys. Who's really t out of a hundred percent? And you look the real music world right now. These gimmicks. Who's how many? What's the percentage of reality? It ain't, it ain't a lot. It so, ain't a lot. It's like, so, like, like probably like 30, 40%. So why do, the judge, why do the females get a flack when you got the guys doing the same thing? And they even worse because the guy's doing it. You got Bobby Schmurter dancing and twerking, bro. Air <laughs> <laughs> humping. Air humping. You got a whole Yeah, but yeah. And, and, and I'm going to tell you right now, he, he's wasting a lot of financial money because he should have came out with a, a song as soon as he got out. And not just drag it, because who's gonna care about his album now? He's known for dancing now. He's the new Diddy, yeah. 2.0. Hey man, I, I'm I, all I'm saying is I just feel like <laughs> it it take me away, it take me away from the lyrics. Like, and don't don't get me wrong, I watched some old ass yo MTV raps the other day, and yo yo sounded can as fuck. I, I ain't gonna lie. No, no, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm being honest, bro. I don't wanna hate. I'm yo -yo. Come I'm on. In, in, in 2022, nigga, Big Lotto is killing yo yo, okay? Yeah. Killing yo yo. That little, that popcorn bullshit she was busting. Yo yo. That, no, no. But, but, but when it came out, it was something different and you wasn't having it a lot of it. So it's it, like, it was, like, but I'm, I'm just saying it, it, it's, it's so advanced now. That I, I'm I'm yeah. still paying attention yeah. to the lyrics, yeah. but I'm being I'm being misguided by the booty. That's well, all I'm saying. I'm being it, misguided. It, it, it's a lot of role reversal too. Everything that dudes used to complain about with females, they are doing. Everything females was complaining about in dude with dudes, they are doing. So if you if you notice, it's a slow reversal. It's a lot of emotional niggas more than ever in life right now, dude. I can't be friends with nobody. I can't be friends. <laughs> if I'm already your friend and we ain't making money together on some associate, I can't be friends with nobody. It is too much backstabbing, backdooring, it's just different, bro. Like, you really in the world by yourself at the end of the day. Mm. You got your, if you ain't, besides your intermediate family, bro, like, if you created your seeds, them are the only ones that's really gonna matter by the time when you leave. You're gonna leave a legacy, but to yourself, the only thing that's gonna really matter is your small, hand, only a small handful of friends. You might know everybody. I know everybody, a lot of people. But it ain't gonna mean nothing. Only a few at the end of the day that's gonna really matter because 
this world is just different. You got aggressive ass females and you got sensitive ass dudes. And how are we going to work? How am I going to be sitting there talking to you and you're posting stuff that girls would say? You're complaining about females all day. Or you can put, like, it's just a lot of things that females used to do that guys do now. And it's a lot of things that guys used to do that females do now. Like, even with rap, the guys are in their feelings. The females are the aggressive ones. They hold the straps yeah, down. They they hold the straps now. You 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 a trick now. You you getting robbed well, of your money from her. I, 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 I was laughing the other day because I was laughing because I said, "Are you smoking a blunt with them long guys' fingernails?" She was smoking a blunt, drinking a, a bottle, and rapping. I said, "Good look, you talented, talented." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 I, 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 my, I can't be attracted to a person that, that smell like cigarettes and, 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 and weed and don't, like, you gotta be a mature person to put on some fucking fragrance, man. Like, I believe in cologne for dudes and perfume for women. I, I, I don't care if you, you, you can jump as high as a mountain. None of that matters if I don't smell no fragrance of you. You gotta be on, at my age, you gotta be on some mature shit. You can't just, we ain't running those routes no more. We ran those routes in the hood. Those was the ones getting ran. We ain't doing that. I'm not, no. For real. So smell good, people. Everybody. Yeah. All humans. Yeah. Smell get good. Get things done. Get nails done. Get everything did things done. <laughs> let's get old. Let's get let's be grown here. <laughs> let's be grown here, man. I I I I am I'm, I'm in that lady stage. The, we already did the youngsters. We did that already. We we all, all right, that so is we, be, we, Yeah. So we 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 wrapping up. We wrapping up. The last question is give us a hey. spill of who 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 you who you would work with that that has passed away? What rapper would you work with that has passed away and why? It will only be a rapper. Well, musical influence, whoever. I mean, you know. Uh, uh, I I would take I would take Mike for um um how he was able to uh just entertain people without even saying nothing. The man jumped on a scoreboard and people passed out in ten minutes. I would I would look at that and be amazed and just seeing how he was a businessman. People don't understand like as much as he was a good entertainer, he was owning a lot of rights to things. He owns the soundtrack. He created the soundtrack to Sonic the Hedgehog Three. He owns the theme song to James Bond. He oh. owns uh, Elvis Presley. Um, not just no no that's Shaq. He owns not just the Beatles. The Beatles is worth like I think their catalog is worth like one point something billion. He 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 outbid a member of. Mm-hmm. <sighs>